All right, so how you doing today? Today we're gonna be talking about UJAM's first virtual piano, Vogue. It's a really cool plugin. So being the first pianist in their series, there is more to come, obviously. Maybe by the time you're watching this video, they're already out. This one is really cool for many genres of music. I was actually really surprised. I was expecting something more like easy keys where, you know, it just plays, you know, basic piano kind of stuff. This one is really cool. A lot of atmospheric stuff in here. A lot of really crazy sounds you can get with the finisher effect they have built into this plugin. I was going crazy with it. Um, I was having a lot of fun with it. I do want to thank you, Jam, for sending me this plugin too. So in this video, I'm going to go over all the features from the interface and everything that you can do with it. And then at the end, I'm going to play a song that I created using other UJAM plugins, Deep, which is a drummer, uh, Dope, which is a hip hop beat maker. And then we also have Dandy, which is a bass virtual instrument by them. They have lots of really cool virtual instruments. You should check them out. There are 30 day trials available for each plugin. There is a link in the video description below for you to check out as well. If you'd like to hear any other demos, other styles of music that you want me to make, put it in the comments below. Maybe you want to hear a hip hop track. Maybe you want to hear an EDM kind of style. I might be making more videos in the future anyways. Let's see what you want to hear. Put those in the comments below. All right, so Vogue is perfect for you if you produce modern band music from pop bows to rock anthems to EDM club hits but it doesn't stop there using and abusing the sonic and musical possibilities vogue will make you produce great results and genres as far from mainstream piano as ambient film score hip-hop and alternative and by the way you can also play this as a regular piano it's just not a player so if you do play piano there's a lot of really cool sounds in here that you can get out of it as well really cool stuff indeed there's also a MIDI drag and drop, which is really cool. So when you create patterns, you can just throw it into your DAW, manipulate, manipulate them further, all that fun stuff. Also, please do subscribe to the channel. I have hundreds of other videos in my back catalog, all kind of really music production videos, VSTs, free VSTs, paid for VSTs, all kind of really cool stuff. So check out the back catalog as well. Uh, there's a lot of music production courses that I've taken over the years that I have reviews on. Uh, Ryan Tedder, Charlie Puth, Kygo, all kind of other really cool stuff. There'll be links for that stuff in the video description below as well. Um, let's jump on the computer and get into this right away. Let's check it out. If you want to skip ahead the video, go right ahead. There's different parts. Check it out. All right, so when you first open the plugin, you'll be presented with this, and we have different settings here. We'll go over these briefly. Character, so we got emotional piano, ballad sounding, concert, power, plastic, good for uh, electronic music and stuff. Power is more pop and rock. Concert's great for vocals and vocals, and ballads great for vocals, emotional. A uh, little darker sounding and such. And then we have, we also have a dark to light slider here, which controls the sound. We have finisher effects and we have the ambience. Uh, the finisher effects are really cool. And then we have a master effects here with dynamics and tone. This is for uh, if you're in the player mode mostly, you don't want to leave the dynamics up to get a more natural sounding piano. Um, and then we have effects here, like I said. So over here we have different presets. We have different sounds over here, different uh, categories, and then a different sounds. And you can save your own, have a user folder and such. Um, these will change. When you use the presets up here, they're going to change the sound of the piano and the style that the piano is playing in, which we'll go over this in a second. Um, and then we also have down here, velocity and the busy uh, business, or was it busyness? So I can't read without my glasses. Uh, this is a pretty cool thing. I'll show you that in a second. And then we have the patterns down here. So you play your chords up here. And on C1, you have, there's three patterns, or actually there's six patterns here, different intensity levels. Uh, the first three are more right hand playing. The other ones are full hand. And then you have chords down here as well, low chord, high chord. And then you have little fills in between. And these are all determined by the different style you have selected over here. And so, and then over here you play your chords. Now you can just play one chord as well, or one note, I mean. So that's playing like an A chord right there. And I'll just play some chords here. switch the patterns on the left hand or you could put it in your MIDI file in your DAW and then these are the low and high notes here so if I have a chord played or no I mean high and low chords rather I'm sorry 
So I'll, let me put that pattern on, hit a chord, and then I can add notes to that or rhythm to that really. I'm a little out of tempo because I don't know what the tempo is. Let's play it. No click or anything. So that's how that works. That's pretty cool. And there's a stop button here to stop all the patterns. We also have micro tuning, which is over here, which is, uh, this is for when you sync it to your DAW and everything. We have speed, we have halftime, we have double time, we have a swing fill. We have the humanize button between loose and tight because these were played by piano players. So everything's kind of, you know, the way it is, it's not necessarily quantized, it's kind of like a quantized thing there. Then we have latch mode. So when I play a chord on here, I don't have to keep my key hand on a keyboard. Stop that right there. So that's latch mode. All right, and then there's instrument mode too. Now I can just play this as a regular piano. I just hit that little button right there. And now I have a full size piano ready to play myself. like a delay or a little extra notes and stuff in there so if I'm playing kind of interesting now there are all, all kind of crazy sounds you could get out of this thing besides piano sounds especially with the, the finisher thing here let's go check out actually let's play some of the different pianos emotional piano good for electronic stuff kind of through the mix and stuff like that and then we have the dark and light switch is pretty cool so it makes it darker and of course brighter if you will and then we have uh, all these crazy effects over here so we could get this sounding really crazy of the effect, obviously. And of course we got different uh, settings here, remix, transform, color, and then we have the ambient sounds, rooms and reverbs, echoes and delays, and some other ones here too. The reverse is kind of neat. So we put that back in the player or the player mode. We have that effect on there now. So if I play some patterns, pretty much <laughs> just mess around with it uh, I'm, I'm going through some different styles here too which is pretty cool all right cool so let's play it in this song here now what I did is I put uh, 
I got some of those Nico mini packs and I just threw down a couple core progressions. I have a UJM base dandy playing here as well. And I have the um, UJM dope playing and I also have the UJM, what is it, deep I believe it was. Yeah, and I switch between them. And I have a little backing track. And as I'm playing here, I'm just gonna kind of ad lib stuff. The chords are already playing in the sequencer with the MIDI pack, and I'm just gonna ad lib, uh, improvise the different patterns. I'll go through some different phrases. I'll mess around with some effects, change the piano sound, just so, so you can see really quickly how cr crazy and <laughs> cool you can make your songs, tracks and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's check it out.
So all right, there you go. Really, really cool stuff. Really cool sounding plugin. A lot of really cool stuff you can do with it. I'll be making more videos if you want to check those out. Please do subscribe to the channel. Like I said, hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos coming out. There's all kind of crazy stuff going on on my channel. Anyways, that is all for now, and I will talk to you soon.